Hi, I'm Ilya from BitScout. In this video, what we will do is we will continue working with bank statements and we will extract all the transactions from bank statement into our, uh, our Excel file, this one. Now, what happens is when the, um, uh, we extract, you use BitScout to extract data from bank transactions, the transactions come as a CSV format and in Power Automate there is no like easy way to do that. You can buy an external module and work with, and parse the CSV file, but what I'm going to show you is how to do that with just using um, uh, only Power Automate tools. Okay, so this is the step from a previous video. You can go back and see part one and we'll continue with that. So now we are parsing our um, bank statement. So the next step is is to use a component called compose this one so what will it will allow us to do is we need to split first the csv is basically a bunch of lines uh, separated by a new line which is a new new line is a new line but then uh, each line is separated each column is separated by comma or semicolon okay the first step is to break everything per per line okay and that's what we're gonna do here so what we need to do is uh, split, use a function called split. Then first we take the text. The text comes from this uh, JSON step called transactions. Then the next thing is we need a function called the called URI because we need a symbol which means a next line. Okay, bit technical, but. I promise you this is the most complex part. Okay, so let me find it. That's the one. And the component is, we take it into is percentage 0a. This is basically um, a code meaning new line symbol. Okay, what, what I'm seeing here, okay, take transactions and when you meet a new line, split them into like a bunch of, uh, into a one array with items. Okay, that's the step. Okay. Now we, we need to save it. So the next step is we need to, this is called apply to each. Okay. Now what we did in previous step, we just broke everything into lines, okay, and individual items. Now we need to go over each item and break them into columns. Okay? That's why we need this step. Okay, we take outputs. Okay, and inside we take another action, which again would be compose. Okay, but now what we're gonna do is we're gonna split it. Same thing, we type the function split. Okay, give us a hint what to do. We take as a special thing called item. And in this case, item means a current item that we are looking at. So you have a bunch of lines, item means one line. All right, and the next step is we need to give it a semicolon. Let's do okay. Let's press save. Okay, let's do a test. Okay, and I want to see if I did everything correctly. Okay. Okay, seems like it went well, and seems like it also went well. You can see in, in the outputs, okay. All right, so as you can see, it's just one item. It didn't go like it's one of 36 items. Uh, let's take if it took the values, yes. So as you can see, it took the values. The first item was the header. Okay, very good. That means everything is correct. You can always do this test. If something fails, go back and see where you made the mistake. Okay, the next action is, is to write it into Excel. Okay, let's create a, a spreadsheet, sorry. 
row into a table. Okay, let's select my Excel. You can write it into any tool. It doesn't have to be Excel, okay, from this point. So the way you do that, uh, you need to do like this. So this is how I do that. I'm going to put outputs, then take the value from the previous step like this and then delete the extra thing and that's it. Then you need to put a question mark and zero. This will be the first item in our CSV list. Don't ask me why to do that. Um, that's how you do that. Uh, press OK and then go to the next step. Sorry, go to the next step, click expression first and then put the value like this. Number two and number three. Okay, let's delete this part. Okay, once again, number three. Okay. So now everything is ready, let's save it and uh, let's run a test. Okay, we can run with the previously used trigger with this one. And let's run it. And then if we go to our Excel, we will see our file. Okay, now it's starting writing data. Okay, so here we are. Okay, so our test is running. Now it will take some time to extract data from a bank statement. And then what will happen once we pass through all the steps and we are on a step applied to each, it means it will start writing data into our Excel. Okay, so here we go. And as you can see, the data started to appear. Okay, it will go through all the transactions, around 70 of them, but this is how it works. Um, I will put uh, this, uh, this flow as an attachment to the article, so you can download and import, so you don't um, you will have it as a reference, but in any case, uh, we expect questions, so use chat in our platform and ask anything you want. Thanks a lot.